Hey guys, hope you're doing well. Glad you're joining me uh, today. Uh, this is uh, the daily ride, and we're covering. Uh, we're we've been in First John chapter four, and this week we're going to cover verse six through verse ten. So if you just wanted to read ahead, so that you're um, have read uh, and know where, where we're going, uh, going to be a good week. And uh, I'm looking forward to this week. We're going to get into uh, God being love. Uh, we're going to finish up the very first uh, segment of uh, chapter 4 uh, with verse 6. And then we're going to jump into a uh, subject of God being love. Uh, everything about God is love. So hope you'll continually join me here. Thank you for being a part of the Daily Ride family. If you will share this uh, video uh, so that it can, we can get out there and get the message of God, how good God is and how much he really loves us out there to people that need to hear it. God bless you guys. Thank you for joining me. And let's see what God has for us this week. Hey, good Thursday morning. Hope everybody's doing well. I don't know if everybody paid attention, and it's just something kind of just come to my mind as I'm doing this episode. Uh, last week, last Tuesday, was episode number 100 of The Daily Ride. Now, it didn't originally start out named The Daily Ride. It kind of evolved into that as I came uh, here to Finley River Cowboy Church in Highlandville, uh, Missouri. But I'm so thankful that this foot, this, uh, uh, this venue has given me the ability to step out uh, of just of my home, uh, out, out of the four walls of the of the church. Uh, this is technology, and I'm, I'm thankful that we get to use this for God's glory and share lives with one another. I just, if you would, if you're watching this video today, just put a message in the, in the comments as to where where you're watching from, so that I I I, I know. And I, please just it, it comment just so that just so I know. Uh, where you're watching from and what kind of footprint we're leaving uh, in this world uh, for, for the kingdom. Today we're going to be covering verse 9 of chapter 4, uh, 1 John chapter 4. By this the love of God is manifested in us that God has sent his only begotten son into the world so that we might live through him. Now let me read that in the Amplified. I really like what it says here. By this the love of God is displayed in us that God has sent his one and only begotten son, the one who is truly unique, the one who is the only one of him, of his kind that, uh, the, let, me, let me back up and reread that. By this we know, uh, by this love of God has been displayed in us that God has sent his one and only begotten son, that one who is truly unique, the one uh, of his, only one of his kind into the world so that we might live through him. You've heard that word vicarious, you know, somebody that's not able to do something, but they, they have a friend that's able to do that. And he says, I'm living vicariously through you. Uh, what happens is, is that uh, we interchanged lives when we chose to follow Jesus. Jesus said, come and follow me. When we choose to follow him, Jesus says, here is my life and give me yours. And at that point, there was an interchange there that happened that we became the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. We, we were given everything that pertains to life and godliness. We were given the ability to have the resources of heaven at our disposal just as Jesus did and Jesus wants us to follow him because he loves us and he has a great plan for us I know the plans that I have for you says the Lord and they're a good plan they're a good future and this is what this this verse is telling us is that by this the love of God was displayed in us when you chose to, to follow Jesus 
that whole plan came into fruition in your life, whether it was tangibly seen or not, that interchange happened and you became the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. The whole premise of the homework is so that you can you can believe it. We talked about it, righteousness being out here. Uh, we want to get the righteousness, uh, not looking at it as something that has to be grasped, as something that you already have. We, begin be, we have been given everything that pertains to life and godliness. It, it, sometimes we have a hard time with it here we don't we 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 wrestle with it we see all of our flaws and mess ups god looks beyond what what we've done what we haven't done and sees what jesus did and that is a reflection of what god sees when he looks at you i'm thankful that god loves us by this the love of god was displayed in us is that we love one another that's how it's displayed we display god's love by loving one another and sometimes that's hard to do project for you to do is to find somebody that you feel like it's in your life that uh, seems to be unlovable. You have a hard time loving and, and ask God to show you how to love that person. And so that will help build you up into the person God already says that you are. God bless you guys. I hope you guys have a great day today. Thank you for following me here. Let me pray for you before we get off here. Father, we thank you for this day. We thank you for your many blessings. Father, we just pray right now that you will show us somebody that we can we can we can show your love to. Father, we can we can translate your love to, that we can display your love to. We can display Jesus in the life and through our lives into the life of somebody else. Thank you, Father, for loving us. Thank you, Father, for giving up your son so that we could have a relationship with you that we could be righteous in your sight thank you father for for your love your great love with which you loved us and thank you father for the ability to be able to display that love to this world we ask these things and pray these things in jesus name amen god bless you guys i hope you'll continually follow me here on the daily ride and i hope you will keep riding